It's time for The Huddle. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome into another edition of The Huddle. I'm your host, Austin Render, alongside Connor Fitzharris. Here with you until 5 p.m. on the Point 91 FM. We've got a great show lined up for you today. We're going to talk about Deflategate and how the Patriots are going to handle that issue. We're going to talk about college basketball. Who are we buying and selling this season? And we're going to get into our pick six later in the show. But right now, we're going to start with our question of the day with the Deflategate swirling around the New England Patriots. If Bill Belichick is indeed proved to have been involved in this situation, how does it affect his legacy? That's our question of the day. You can get involved. 431-2911, put your name and your answer in the text, and we will get to those later in the show. And Connor, I'd like to bring you in for the first time here and ask you the same question. How do you feel about Bill Belichick's legacy if it is indeed proved that he was involved in this deflate gate? This is a very good question, but his legacy, I think he will be defined as a great coach, winning huge games, many Super Bowls, and many of those great games he won were against teams like Peyton Manning and Aaron Rodgers behind quarterback. He will be known as a great coach but since 11 of the 12 balls were deflated in the AFC Championship game against the Indianapolis Colts, he will also be known as a cheater. And, and a few years back, also, he was also looked into on spying on the Jets, defensive coordinator for looking into plays. So he will, he will be known as a great coach, but also a cheater as well. He'll be definitely involved in that spy gate, as you mentioned, and they're also calling this the deflate gate. If Bill Belichick is involved, this could affect his legacy as a possible Hall of Fame head coach. We want to hear your opinion. It's the question of the day. Texas 431 2911. Put your answer and your name in the text, and we'll get to it later in the show. I'm Austin Render alongside Connor Fitzharris. Stay tuned. Welcome back into the huddle, Austin Render, alongside Connor Fitzharris. It's time to play one of our favorite games here on the show. It's buy or sell. It's time for buy or sell on the huddle. So today on buy or sell, let's start with some college basketball teams. And Connor, I'm going to give you Virginia. Do you believe that the Cavaliers are a true threat? Buy or sell? They play one of the best defenses in the country. I'm going to go ahead and buy Virginia. I will buy them as well. They're a talented team. No losses yet on their schedule. We'll see how they play the Duke Blue Devils. Let's go now out of the Power 5 conferences to Gonzaga. Buy or sell? I'm going to sell Gonzaga. They just do not have the conference play that teams like Duke and Louisville have. I'm going to go ahead and sell Gonzaga. Yeah, I don't think that their schedule helps them for a long run. I'm going to sell them actually as well. Now the Louisville Cardinals, they've been struggling lately. Do you buy or sell them? I'm going to buy this team. I think Harrell can really get this team back on track in the ACC, even though it is a tough conference and one of the toughest conferences in college basketball. I'm going to go ahead and buy Louisville Cardinals. I'm going to sell the Cardinals. I don't believe they score enough points to be a legitimate threat come title time. Final team, the Northern Iowa Panthers. And Connor, they're out of the Missouri Valley Conference. Buy or sell Northern Northern Iowa. I'm going to sell Northern Iowa. It's Northern Iowa. I mean, they are not going to do anything in the tournament. I'm going to go ahead and sell the Northern Iowa Panthers. Good season so far. Only two losses. They have not played Wichita State yet. I'm going to sell them as well. And welcome back here to the Huddle Ostermender alongside Connor Fitzharris. We mentioned earlier today our question of the day, so let's get to the text line. We had a couple come in. First one is from Kyle. He says the NFL should suspend Bill Belichick from the Super Bowl. He is a repeat offender, and Roger Goodell needs to make a statement. Your thoughts, Connor? I would agree with this. I think he should not be able to coach in the game against the Seattle Seahawks. He has cheated not once but twice. We mentioned a few years ago against the Jets in that Spygate situation. I do not think he should coach in this big game against the Seattle Seahawks, and he should be banned from this game. The last one came from Reed. He said the Colts and the Patriots should play again. That's the only fair way to determine a true winner of the game. Your thoughts? I'm not sure they should play again. I, I still think the Patriots outmatched the Colts in every aspect of that game, both running and throwing the football and also defensively. Again, the Patriots outmatched the Colts in every aspect of the game. And we'd like to thank Kyle, Brad, and Reed for interacting with us here on the huddle. Now, my thoughts, I would have to side with Kyle on this one. I think he should be suspended for the Super Bowl. But then, Reed, I don't know how much that is a factor in the game last week. I don't really agree that they should have to play again. I think the Patriots still ran all over the Colts without throwing the football. So I think it was fair that the Patriots won, but it's not fair that they cheated. And Bill Belichick should be suspended for the Super Bowl. That's all the time we have for today. We'd like to thank all the people who got involved in our show, whether it was by text line or phone line. 
For Counterfeit's Heroes, I'm Austin Render. We'll see you next time on The Huddle here on The Point 91 FM.